Hi, I'm Shamita, an early career PhD student. This is an experiment using Rydberg atoms as single photon detectors to search for dark matter axions. Axions are a dark matter candidate that simultaneously solve the strong CP problem in quantum chromodynamics. The simultaneous solving of two big problems in physics makes the axion well motivated. So there has been a lot of interest in searching for this particle. We do this search by taking advantage of what's called the inverse Primakov effect, which is this interaction between the axion and a magnetic field, which spontaneously creates a photon with this interaction strength g sub a gamma gamma. The instrument that exploits this interaction is called a heliscope, and it does so by creating the optimal conditions for this interaction. Heliscopes contain strong magnets to create the magnetic field, cavities to resonantly enhance the produced photons, and low noise amplifiers to amplify the signal suppressed by this interaction strength. This is an exclusion plot of the axion in the parameter space around the mass region that heliscopes are sensitive to. The x-axis is the axion mass, which is proportional to the cavity frequency, and the y-axis is the Primakov interaction strength, g sub a gamma gamma. The yellow band is the QCD axion, and these red vertical exclusions were made by heliscopes. This region in the higher mass range is a little bit emptier than the rest, and so it requires new technology to be explored. Our proposal for a new technology is single photon detection, which would eliminate quantum noise and increase our scan rate to go through this parameter space. Our single photon detectors will be made by exciting a beam of potassium atoms to a very high energy level, which is called the Rydberg state. Rydberg atoms can have transition frequencies to neighboring states at these frequencies, at these frequencies that we care about. So our setup is an expansion on the idea of a standard heliscope, except that instead of reading the cavity out directly, we would be coupling this output to another resonator to be read out with Rydberg atoms. We already have the cryogenic setup necessary to test this idea, and we have demonstrated the ability to reach the Rydberg state using electromagnetically induced transparency. Here is an energy level diagram of potassium with the wavelength of the beams we use overlaid. This is the signal that we measured, and the x-axis is the frequency of that coupling beam that we scanned, and the y-axis is the signal strength that came out of our EIT electronics. Here is a picture of our EIT setup. If you want to learn more, please come by the poster session to look at poster 16 or feel free to email me here.